An example with the Euro to Japanese yen chart. Here, a long term view sees some significant events occurring around the 110 level. Taking a closer look reveals a bearish engulfing with extreme proportions that is soon reversed by a series of bullish engulfings with more moderate proportions. Back to a longer term view sees clear upper and lower ranges form with some periods of volatility and flatter price action. An example of a harami with more upward concentration due to the second candle having its real body closer to the upper half of the mother candle's real body range. This develops into another formation very close to an evening star with the same general U shaped price action. However, since it is a forex chart, the absence of major gaps between the real bodies is more understandable. Regardless of how strict criteria is for haramis or evening stars, the last three candles demonstrate more bearish intent, especially due to them having longer upper wicks, which aren't bearish stars on their own, however, they demonstrate inability to maintain the highs near the established 123 resistance. It is a slow start with the bearish sentiment. Encountering some indecision in the market and some residual bullish sentiment, as evidenced by the longer lower wicks here. After that, there is a familiar sight with large red candles accelerating downtrend development. It is a sharp decline, but it can be maintained indefinitely, and eventually the market reverses strongly with a very clear bullish engulfing. That is immediately confirmed with a row of closes higher. After a firm uptrend begins, 123 is cleared, and there is a very clean consolidation as the market pulls back onto 123, where there is firm support to eventually form a strong continuation higher. A series of Haramis does slow down the uptrend, and this is not fully taken advantage of to form a strong downward reversal as the market quickly falls into a flat and narrow range. In the short term, it's basically neutral to bearish, very bearish, and then more neutral to slightly bullish price action as the market begins to resist the push lower. This leads to two distinct possibilities. First, the market can continue the longer term uptrend to eventually pass 134, making this effectively a resting phase in a bullish continuation. Or bearish sentiment can be renewed to breach the minor 132 short term support and fall towards the more significant 130 area. 132 was under pressure, however, bearish sentiment was weakening. As seen with the longer lower wicks here, not only for the clear bull hammer, but the next candle, even though it didn't close above the bull hammer's high, it shows bearish weakness because the lower wick is longer and the candle managed to close above 132. In the bigger picture, this range is quite small, however, in the short term, it shows some major fluctuations in price. With a good example of an upwardly skewed harami here, where the real body of the second candle is more concentrated towards the upper half of the mother candle's real body range. As the flat range continues, here is another example of an upwardly skewed harami. Even though the second candle is red, it has concentration towards the upper half of the first candle's real body range. As a result, bearish sentiment is not fully realized, with remaining bullish interest keeping the market from falling sharply lower. Soon, there is adequate bullish balance to surpass 134.
However, the market begins reaching overbought territory multiple times, as demonstrated by these sharp peaks. Familiar price action here with a Harami forming the consolidation higher, but once again, the market is rising too aggressively with these steep bullish spikes, and that eventually can't be sustained in the long term, leading to a major reversal. This 130s range now offers support, and even though no upswings emerge immediately, there is still the secondary characteristic of slowing down the bearish decline. The new year begins on a highly bullish note, with a large bull hammer, and this long lower wick emphasizes the unwillingness and inability of the market to continue dropping lower. It also helps the next candle, bullishly engulfed, to form a firm upswing. This turns out to be a more short to medium term bullish context at the still relevant 123 level, which remains highly influential well into the future.